XRP.com. Use code CUTE at checkout. It's easy, fast, legit. Stop gambling your money on packs. Go get the team you want. Go get the players you want. Right now, 500K is below $17. Wide receiver tier list. Let's get straight to the point. If you're new, subscribe. We do at least three videos per day. Yesterday, I did eight videos. Like it if you enjoy it. It does support the channel. Thank you so much. Wide receiver tier list. There's been so many wide receivers come out. Let's get to the point here, and let's get to the video. Um, right here. So let's start with Gary Zimmerman. <laughs> uh, wide receiver. He got an out-of-position card. Um, this card is good at blocking, and that's it. He's a one-trick pony. He's too slow. He can't cut on a dime. He can't run routes. He doesn't get any separation. So, hey, if you're going to spam the run and you're only going to run, go get him. Honorary lineman, post him up, and let, just let him block. Besides that, he is not a good card. Uh, Tim Brown, didn't like this card day one. Uh, he's small, does not play well. He, does not, he doesn't catch good in traffic. Uh, just so you know, for all of these cards, the game plays are on my channel. So if you want to see them in action, if you want to see how they played, I'm just going to tell you right now, but if you want to go see them in action, all these players are on my channel, every one of them. So do keep that in mind. Herman Moore, man, he's down to A tier. He's getting a little outdated with the speed. Um, there's cars better abilities, but this guy here can still jump up, bail out, break tackles. I love him. There's been so many cards come out since him. I wish he was S tier still. I love the card. And the same thing goes with Calvin Johnson. He's going to be A tier as well. They're both so good. You can move Calvin down to B if you want because it's his speed and stuff. But his acceleration is what I really mean. However, these cards are bellouts. They're really good. If you're on a budget or if you're running a Lions Steam team and you get two plus speed on these guys, they're still good enough to use. So Lions Steam team had wide receivers for a very long time for sure. Drake London, S tier. This guy, I'm telling you, every time I played yesterday, he jumped over someone, caught it, agged over him, broke two tackles, ran in the end zone. Best animations in the game. Uh, cuts on a dime, gets good separation. Love the card. AJ Brown, never liked this card day one. Uh, I thought they really screwed the Eagles wide receivers. Um, never liked. Devontae Smith, day one. Uh, I like them both in real life. Uh, they're both on my fantasy team. Um, they both did really well, but they're not good. Like, they don't catch the ball in traffic. Uh, they're, they both can't go ag somebody. They're both, they're just not good cards. And I wish they were. And you know what? I think they're both going to upgrade soon. And they do, they're going to be really, really good. Um, T. Higgins, C tier. This guy's not fast enough. This guy is, doesn't get good abilities. He's not worth it. Grinding for it, don't do it. You can move him down to D tier. I don't even care. He's he's a horrible card. Do not get that card. Um, AJ Green, he's going to be A tier. Um, I was not impressed by him. Go watch the gameplay. You'll see him in action. He does a lot of things good, but nothing great, right? So was not a fan. Do not, do not waste your coins on him. Um, definitely not worth it at all. D Hop is S tier. He does have double me activated at the beginning of the game. He is big enough to go get some ad catches, but he's not going to catch like Drake London. He's not going to break tackles like Drake in London, but he is going to be very reliable and a very good wide receiver for sure. Um, I really like that card. Um, Rodney White, he was just nothing special. Uh, he's A tier. I, I wish he could say he did he did everything good, but nothing great. Um, he gets good separation. He's a route runner, just like he was in real life. Uh, ag catches, not great. Speed, not great. Um, Isaiah, I think this card's really overrated. He's going to go B tier. He's big. He's 6'4". His discounts aren't good. He did not play well. He just wasn't consistent at all. Um, you could say Cole Beasley is S tier. <laughs> I love this card. This guy is tiny, right? You don't need five ag guys on your team. You need guys to get open. You need guys to get separation, catch the ball in traffic. This guy hung on to everything. 
It's a great card. Go watch the gameplay. Go see him in action. I love that card for sure. Up next, uh, Cheetah. He's still S tier. He's still getting 99 speed. Uh, he's still really good. I like Cole Beasley better. Uh, Beasley was more consistent in traffic. Uh, Cheetah's a little more shifty as far as moves, but as far as getting open, I mean, Cole Beasley's great. I love that card uh, for sure. Now, CD Lamb and Debo, they're outdated. Um, one has short in for zero, one has short out for zero. Uh, CD's one step faster, so you just go CD over him if you're trying to decide for a budget team who you like. Plaxico Burris, I put him right, right in this mix right here with the cards that came out in December. He is still good on the theme team but right now he feels a little bit slow he wishes discounts are better because his cards getting way better discounts right now and way better abilities so that's why he's gonna be farther on the list but he's a good jump ball in the red zone guy um for sure michael urban's s tier love this card michael urban um i picked him as my free legend if you go do all your legend solos well enough to get enough of the stars you have to do them all just pay attention to that I picked him as my free legend. He's he's doing great for me. I really have no big issues out of him. Um, up next, Allen Robinson. Never liked this card day one. Uh, was not good. Nothing special. Does not do anything special. And he's wasted coins. If you're on a Bears theme team, I still wouldn't waste my coins on him. I would just get somebody to substitute out. All right, and up next, T.Y. Hilton. I'm going to put him A tier because Christian Kurt is just a better... T.Y. Hilton. He is one inch taller and has three plus acceleration. So when you have somebody that close to you, you're not going to be S tier, right? So yeah, there's no reason not to go with Chris and Kurt unless you're running a theme team, of course. However, Chris and Kurt gets the same ability discount that Hilton gets. So the one you would use. So I would not even worry about that. Gabriel Davis is nothing special. He's 6'2". He's 94 speed. Um, not a fan at all. Cobb is never liked him day one, does not get good abilities. Same as Juju. These cards here, these cards here, I, I feel like people are like, oh, they're newer, they're this, they're that, they're playoff. Don't get these cards. I'm not a fan of them. Um, they're just better options. Julian Edelman, this card here was not consistent for me. Uh, catching the ball in traffic. Of course, he didn't break tackles. He's tiny. He did not fall forward. But I'm just talking about being consistent catching trap. He gets good separation, but he's going to drop the ball third, fourth quarter, third and fourth down. You're going to get mad. Do not get that card at all. Um, Scary Terry's S tier. I love this card. This guy here uh, is one of the best wide receivers in the game. His ability set short in and short out for 1 AP total. He's fast, he's good, he's reliable. He hangs on the ball in traffic way more than you think. You think he's just gonna be a fast guy, drops the ball? No, this guy's really, really good. Go get Scary Terry, you will not regret it. 6'4", oh my God. This guy's 6'4", and gets great abilities, and you give him 98 speed with the, you know, Super Bowl ring strategy card. This guy here is amazing. He's definitely S tier, he's really, really good. I do enjoy having him on my team. Up next, Garrett Wilson. He's A tier. <sighs> I wasn't a biggest fan of this card. He is usable, especially on Jets team team. He's gonna be really good. Just, there's just better cards um, for sure. I was not, not sold on him. And up next, Chris Olave. He's great. Uh, Chris Olave, he gets great abilities. He's dependable. He's good. I do like him. Let's see. I like him better than Kurt. I like him better than Cheetah. Man, him and Cole Beasley are close. Uh, yeah, he, he's really good. You guys should go try him out if you have not. Doug Baldwin's not worth the price. Small doesn't really hold the ball in traffic. He gets some discounts, but there's no reason not to just go get Chris and Kurt instead. He's cheaper, better, everything else like that. Uh, Michael Thomas, he you could put him at the beginning of A or the end of S. This guy plays big. He is big. He gets good discounts. I'll put him S. I like that card. If you've not tried that card and you're saying, I'm looking for a new wide receiver, uh, you can go try Michael Thomas. He's pretty good at just about everything. Andre Reid is S tier. He gets 97 speed on a Legends theme team. 
98 on the Bills. This guy here, uh, he's been dependable. I see the difference between him is like, he's on my team right now and he's been dependable. Third and fourth down, he hangs on everything. He's bailed me out a couple times. He's really good, really fun. Um, up next is Jefferson. He's S tier. You can get him to um, you can get him to 99 speed. He has 97 speed. So for a Vikings team, team, this guy is gone. The bad thing about this card is, is short in and short out. He has for zero or in the same slot. They kind of screwed up his abilities. Um, he's not the best at ag catching, but he's really good at running routes. Getting separation, this card is super elite. I really like how he plays. Carmichael, 6'8", jump ball master. He's really good. Um, I love this card because he falls forward, breaks tackles, throws people off, trucks people just like Drake. He's on that Drake level of after the ball, trying to get down. That guy's a goon to get down to the ground. He's fun to use. Uh, the why I would not say he's the best wide receiver is he doesn't have the sharpest cuts. He doesn't get the best separation. I think it's because of his 6'8 frame. He doesn't just doesn't turn it as well as other wide receivers. Like, for example, him versus Cole Beasley, as far as, like, running a route to cut, Cole Beasley's got him beat all day. But if you need a red zone threat, go get Carmichael. That's going to do it for me. Be kind for no reason. Help each other. Encourage each other. I'll see you in the next video, which is start, bench, cut. Who should you keep? Who should you cut? I'll see you then.